Coming up next, X-Play, followed by Unscrewed at 11.30 and Anime Unleashed at midnight. Today on X-Play, our review of Madden 2005 is here. Plus, modding Doom 3. And we open up a can of ancient mythological whoop-ass in Otogi 2. Now who's gonna clean that up? It's game time! What's the pause, Dr. Chocolate? It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb! Hello and welcome to Explain, the show that makes references so obscure only a few hundred thousand people get them. On today's show, we have the biggest football title of the year, Madden 2005. But maybe you don't like football because it reminds you of being bullied in high school. If so, why not escape to a mythological hack and slash game where you can be bullied by a dragon? Cool. We also have ghost hunting, celebrity advice giver Andrew WK, and later something very special. Oh, special. Doom 3 mod, because we can. Yep. But right now, we have a game so big that it and Grand Theft Auto 3 are in almost every dorm room in America, right next to the hot pockets and the unread copy of being in nothingness. Year after year, EA Sports' Madden NFL <laughs> comes out and sells like hotcakes. Hotcakes covered in crack. Is Madden as addictive as it was last year? Find out when we review Madden NFL 2005. Give me some good hockey. Mm. Y'all ready for this? <laughs> It's hard to believe it's been 15 years of Madden. That's 15 years of bringing together roommates, close friends, neighbors, and classmates for pigskin parties. But will year 15 keep the party going or become the ultimate buzzkill? This is what it's all about, ladies and gents. Believe it's all about the best to the adamant love. EA has been gradually sprinkling on the game modes like linemen piling on a gimpy quarterback. So it's not entirely fair to expect EA to reinvent the proverbial wheel each year. But with this year's game, you'll have to settle for some key free agent pickups rather than a complete team rebuild. In fact, the only noticeable improvement to the gameplay this year is on the defensive side of the ball. The hit stick allows you to deliver punishing blows to your opponent. But taking your fingers off the other buttons to perform it may deliver its own punishing blow. But hey, Matt never really had a problem with big hits anyway. Outside of the hit stick, Madden's additions are more cosmetic than anything else. The franchise mode is still solid. You can prepare your players for the season with a heavy dose of training camp drills. Once in the season, you can check out newspaper articles or listen to radio personality Tony Bruno wax the poetic. Hello, sports fans. I'm Tony Bruno, your charming host. The customization is also killer. Yeah, you can still create your alter ego. You can also draw some plays in the sand and bring them into your playbook. But perhaps the best example of gridiron overkill is the ability to create fans. That's right, give the opposition the foam finger. The fundamentals of football are still as solid as ever. The running game remains the most realistic in the business, and new animations make it even more lifelike. The passing game is equally strong, relying on timing and arm strength to deliver the perfect strike. So, is Madden the best football game available? Well, yes and no. Playing offline, it's still the undisputed champ. But playing online is a different story, thanks to the mandatory performance equalizer, which keeps you from going for it on fourth down when you want to. Even so, gridiron gurus can't go wrong picking up Madden NFL 2005. We give it a one, two, three, four out of five. Yes, Madden's good. No, it's not very innovative this year, but let's address what everyone in the industry is talking about. Chocolate. No, no, it's not, actually. How does Sega's new and improved ESPN NFL 2K5 stack up against Madden? Well, for starters, ESPN 2K5 only costs 20 bucks as opposed to 50 for Madden. And ESPN is so vastly improved this year that we gave it the same score as Madden, a 4 out of 5. So, which one should you buy? Well, ESPN has a better online game than Madden. Plus, this year, Madden has a huge online glitch with its formation shift feature. It basically allows the other player to cheat their way to a win by wearing out your defense. But if you only play offline, Madden still the champ. So unless online play is your number one priority, we're going to recommend Madden. 
And if sports bore you to tears, you probably had a difficult childhood, but maybe something as esoteric as ancient Japanese mythology lights your socially awkward fire. So why not play the sequel to 2003's Otogi? Because the title sounds silly. It's true. Here's a review of Otogi 2. Otogi. In the first Otogi game, you played as Raito, a booty kick and fearsome looking, stylishly svelte undead warrior. In Otogi 2, you have Raiko, plus five different warriors with which to repel the demon horde. See, these mystical generals decide to bring Raiko back into the fight. But, but, oh, wait a second, it takes blood to raise the dead, right? So where are they gonna get... Talk about taking one for the team. Once these folks kick the bucket, they become undead warriors themselves. And you can pick one to fight with. But this is not your standard salad bar of characters. Kentoki specializes in throwing his enemies. The wolf-headed Suna is really hoping he gets that bloody roar gig, which could explain why he's so tense. Suwataki has no arms, tree root for legs, and a wagon wheel on his back. Wait, really? Huh. As before, you float and dash away in search of demons to kill. And there's more demons in this game than the Buffy box set. The action is fast, the combat is satisfying, and the weapon effects are gorgeous. Maybe a little too gorgeous. Sometimes there's so many fancy effects on the screen that things slow down, and not on purpose. But the main problem continues to be the camera. You can lock onto an enemy, but you can't lock your view. So it's easy to lose track of what's going on. I don't know what happened, but I'm pretty sure I kicked some ass. Environments are large and more destructible than ever leave the entire level in ruins. Which is good, because you'll free some souls on the torturous confines of a rock. Or a jar. Or a decorative garden item. Otogi 2 avoids the sophomore slump of some sequels, but the problems from the first game are still around, but big whoop. There's enough action and eye candy here to keep action fans feeling good. Otogi 2 is a solid hack and slash game. It gets a three. Out of five. They lurk in dark corners in the world below, waiting. See, that guy made out of a wagon wheel better watch out because some interior designer is going to come and turn him into an antique coffee table. I've seen trading spaces. I know what those people are capable of. Look what they did to our set. This is like so colorful. It's like one of my old shirts. It's not that bad. Hey! Up next, I said, don't move. giving bad advice in Ghost Hunter. This portion of G4 Tech TV is brought to you by Diet Coke. It's a Diet Coke thing. With surround sound, this HD TV would be perfect for your party. Yeah. Hey, you should come. Fourth and 23. Williams rolls out, throws up a prayer. No! Touchdown! Oh! Yeah! Yeah! That guy's on my fantasy football team. You know, you should think about TiVo. You can record the game and celebrate later. Watch TV better at Best Buy with up to 10% off all home theater products, $2.99 and up. Thousands of possibilities. Get yours. Back off! Incoming! Duck! Yeah! Woo! Jump! Jump, jump! Woo! Ah! Yes! Take your game to the streets with the only multiplayer game phone, the new Nokia N-Gage QD from Singular. Insane graphics and the latest titles. Get yours at Singular Wireless. Rated T for teens.
fasten your safe belts. It's normal. We were a thousand miles off course. Mayday! Mayday! They're looking for us in the wrong place. Where are we? I've just been through a trauma here, okay? We've all been through a trauma. Did anybody say that? If you see or hear anything, run. <laughs> Lost. Premieres Wednesday at 8, 7 central, only on ABC. If all you see when you scan me is a drugged out loser, you're way off. I'm a thinker. An uncle. The last thing I lit up was a rugby scoreboard. Drugs aren't me. I am my anti-drug. At last, you can watch the greatest Star Wars battles on DVD. But what if you could actually live them? Now, you can play all the Star Wars battles any way you want. Introducing Star Wars Battlefront, the video game, tomorrow. Rated T for Teen. Watch, play, win, hyperactive! We have a new online game everyone is talking about. Every weeknight, while you watch X-Play and Unscrewed with Martin Sargent, go online and play hyperactive along with the shows. You can win an iPod Mini and other cool stuff. Go to g4techtv.com slash hyperactive and play along every night with X-Play at 11 and Unscrewed at 11.30. Warning may contain adult language. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Yes, sometimes we say the word immersive. It lends us an air of credibility. Welcome back to X-Play, the only show that uses the word radical five times an episode. We have a game full of ghosts. And you know, interestingly, some people think our new set is haunted. By the spirit of failure. They're only half right. It's also haunted by the spirit of defeat. Well, the specters in our next game are far more tangible, since they're made of polygons. Good work. Never mind. Here's a review of Ghost Hunter. Down to the base. Don't move. What are you doing? I said don't move. Actually, no, I'm not moving was a pretty good idea. This is Lazarus Jones. Detroit PD, homicide. He has some things going for him. He looks like Ethan Hawke with that accidentally perfectly tousled hair thing that makes me want to tear up my thorax using a spork. Wow, was there an arrest? Lazarus Jones also has a couple of strikes against him, including having the stupidest name this side of Ivish Finkel. Wow. And he's also a complete dumbass. See, if you're in a spooky basement with an ominous red button and you hit the button, you have voted yourself out of the gene pool. So, the fancy name jackass has to clean up the mess by shooting ghosts with special ghost guns to weaken them while capturing them with another device. Yeah, it is like Ghostbusters. You're so insightful. Yeah. Ghost Hunter is a game with some solid atmosphere. There's some legitimately spooky moments. Especially when exploring the abandoned Detroit prep school. Ooh, spooky things. Uh-oh, monsters with shields. Oh, shotgun shells. Now that's a real Detroit education there. The combat offers some interesting twists because of the two-pronged approach of weakening and then subduing the friendly apparitions. This gives it an edge over just running and gunning. But the controls in the game present something of a problem because it just doesn't seem to control right, and it's annoying. Oh. See, you have to enter into aiming mode. So now you move slower while still having to control the camera to find the enemy who's moving around you mockingly fast. Things get even less interesting when you're attacked by the spirits of Hillbilly's past. There he is. They're sniping at you with guns that sound like wet farts. You need to snipe right back. Problem is, once you're in first-person mode, you can't move. So taking cover and getting your bead on the body list is impossible. So you just stand there in the open like an idiot taking shots. It's not hard to find a playing style to overcome these flaws, but like asking your spouse why there's a corpse in the pantry, sometimes it's better to just end the relationship. There are puzzles too, like hiding from a fat pig ghost who's the only one that can open gates, and then running through the gates. Or shooting a bell to make it ring. Mm, the puzzles suck. 
show with great atmosphere and some neat concepts mixed with iffy gameplay and dubious puzzles, Ghost Hunter is about as balanced as Fox News. Wow. A three out of five. Don't take another step, please, Mr. Fancy Bridges. Hmm, looks like the ghost of Ben Davis is in that game. Well, there's one thing gamers love, it's women with guns. Elderly women with guns. And if there's one thing we love on X-Play, it's celebrities. Yeah. That's why we sent Adam to interview unshaven celebrity rocker Andrew W.K. Join me now as I get inside the mind of a man who's a philosopher, a dreamer, a poet, and an author of an introspective song called I Want to Party. If you were to do a uh, music for a video game, like uh, what what video game out there do you think would be most matching your music? If you could define anything out there, I still I still am waiting, and, and I know they're working on games like this, and I know that the Backyard Wrestling 2 has really helps further this. I want a game of complete and total and utter mayhem. Now I don't mean like a big mass mayhem around a town. I want very focused, and where you could take like a body and like like smash its eyeball out, and then you could take like a sandpaper piece, like a really high grain like diamond sandpaper piece and like rub it across someone's face or like uh like pick out their tendons and their arm one by one yes you have many other lambert and completely appropriate ideas for a video game that would get us all fired if we aired them so we'll simply say thank you mr wk and if rockstar doesn't make a game i'm sure it will become a reality show on fox up next, more Andrew W.K. I'm not making up stuff that's, you know, some kind of breakthrough rocket scientist stuff, although that would be pretty cool. Malibu Max with a sliding and reclining rear seat. No wonder we call it the Max. Chevy Malibu Max, an American revolution. They're in. On October 8th. I'm coming during your vehicle. Follow that car. Buckle up the safety monkey. Get ready for the ultimate bust. Freeze! Damn. 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 You took a cab to a bank robbery? I'm not afraid to live outside the law. All right, your honor! Huh. You're living outside of your mind. That's where you live. Taxi. Rated PG-13. October 8th, only in theaters. What's the difference between Madden Football and Blitz? Uh, the, the old kick touchdowns. These We Sell Everything stores don't take games seriously. You gotta talk to gamers. Oh man, Blitz is like an arcade game. Helmets flying off, bodies piling up. Madden's more like being in a real game. Sweet. Reserve the hottest new releases. Pre-owned games and equipment at big discounts. Save on new games by trading in old ones. Uh... Enjoy computer and video games? Train now for a career in this $7 billion industry. That's right, Brown College is now offering career training in game design and development. At Brown College, you can train to take your ideas from concept to completion and beyond. With over 230 million video games sold last year, game makers need talented, trained people to create the next generation of games. Turn your dreams into reality with career training in game design and development. Call Brown College now. Classes are starting soon. Call 800-766-2010. That's 800-766-2010. You ever think you might have worms? If your computer is slowing down or crashing or just acting weird. E-acceleration with the full power of stop sign can make it like new again. Stop sign gives you virus protection second to none. With a spam blocker and spyware remover. Pop-up blocker. And the stop sign firewall for all the protection you'll ever need. Guaranteed. You may be infected and not even know it. Go to stopsign.com for a free virus scan now.
Once again, adorable human pinatas, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Is he implying that people should hit us? Well, and that candy would fall out of me if they did? Mm. Welcome back to X-Play. I'm not full of toys and candy. I'm full of gin and bitterness. And we have yet another helpful gem from celebrity rocker Andrew W.K. If blindfolded children run at me with sticks, I'm going to sue somebody. Just watch this, OK? I don't need it. I live this. Don't hit me. show where you give advice to people and yes. we have any viewers who are um, entering into that that mysterious world of adulthood and they like playing video games they may not know how they can go on to life with you know their their, their video game playing um, what, what what's the advice you would give them there's no rules for anything there's no rules for life there's no rules for games there's no rule for play or for work you do what you want on the advice show it's an advice show on, on, on mtv2 if i may it's called your friend andrew wk and always what we try to talk about is the very basic common knowledge i'm not making up stuff that's you know some kind of breakthrough rocket scientist stuff although that would be pretty cool but uh no most of the stuff that we're talking about is very very basic and the matter of fact the fact of the matter the matter is that you are alive uh, for a limited time on this earth, as far as we know, uh, you, life could end tomorrow. I mean, heaven forbid, we hope that today is not the last day, but if it is, we want to go on a high note. So don't be afraid to try things. Instead of talking about what you want to do and planning on it, go out and get started right now. And whether that's in the backyard or the side yard or in the bathroom, the point is to do it. What's your advice for an aging video game show host? Do you know any? Um, I have a friend back home. He's having trouble. Okay, yeah, if you got a friend, um, I would say, hey, look, you know, you're only as old as you feel. That's a very, very, very basic thing. Um, you should be very glad that, you, that your friend's been able to, uh, you know, get as far as he has if he, if he is a host. Um, you know, maybe you could, you, since you are a video game host, you probably have very good, uh, very good advice maybe for him as well. I would say stay your course. So far, so good. The future is, is unlimited, and the potential that has gotten you to this point can get you very much farther. Thanks. Anyway. His message of self-empowerment is uh, deeply inspiring. Yes, don't put things off. Do them now. Like playing some commercials. Let's see the day and see if we can get some DeVry or ITT tech ads up in here. Education. Coming up. Afraid of the dark? <laughs> We've got a Doom 3 mod for you. Now that T-Mobile gives you unlimited instant messaging, you can IM non-stop 24-7. T-Mobile Unlimited IM, just $9.99 a month on Yahoo, MSN, and AOL. IM also available for T-Mobile Pay As You Go. T-Mobile, get more. There's thousands of people attempt to flee the cities. And one man doesn't have a clue. Oh my god, she's so drunk. <laughs> Critics are calling Shaun of the Dead the perfect combination of humor. <laughs> Do something! Two seconds. Uh, hold it there. And no holds barred horror. Yeah, boy! Shaun of the Dead. <laughs> Rated R. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. Break out of the ordinary into a crispy, crunchy, peanut buttery Butterfinger from Nestle. What if every choice you made changed the way you look and how people see you? Would you shun evil and lead a life of virtue? Become a righteous hero? Decide your destiny. Fable. For every choice, a consequence. Rated M for mature. What if every choice you made changed the way you look and how people see you? Would you forgo virtue and choose a wicked path? Become the very picture of evil? 
decide your destiny. Fable, for every choice, a consequence. Rated M for Mature. Now, without safety features, it's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. When did we ever have safety features? That time you guys tried to drown me. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to x -Play. You know, even though we pride ourselves on mercilessly mocking bad games, and sometimes our fans, we like to still give a little something back to the people. Yes, like taking a game that's pretty good and making it better. For example, Doom 3. Okay, it looks beautiful, but it also forces you to spend your time switching between a gun and a stupid flashlight. So, we tracked down a couple of Doom 3 mods to put the fun back into functional. You'd think after four freaking years of development, somebody might say, hey, in the future, wouldn't space marines have a light built into their weapons by now? Welcome to life before light, within the soft, dark underbelly of Doom 3. Yeah, you were pretty much the past tense of poor unlawful carnal knowledge. If the odious vessels of evil get the jump on you, you can always beat them with your trusty light stick. Yeah, not so bueno. So it's thanks to some industrious fans that light plus firepower are now happily married. Hello Kitty! The Hello Kitty mod casts an adorable glow on all the rotting fed and flesh it meets. Hello dying guy, do you like my kitty? What? What's wrong, Kitty? Is it that mean old dog again? Have you been peeing in his food, you naughty cat? Some mods are, of course, more functional than others. Thundercats here adds a nice crimson color to the lit demolition, while at the same time telling the oncoming horror that your soul symbol is fierce. And who doesn't love a hug from a Care Bear? A Care Bear? What's behind here, Mr. Bear? He looks like he needs a hug. A hug from my gat, that is. Look, it's questionably a light Senator Zell Miller. He wants to pet the kitty. Uh-oh, looks like he wants to duel. See you in Zell, Miller. The duct tape mod places a little mag light atop your trusty lead spitter. It's kind of small, though. There's also the pentagram mod, which I suppose could act as a charm against other pentagrams. Holy acrid goiter stench, it's the bat symbol. Now that's a light that tells these undead homeless dudes that you've got backup on the way. So there you go, kids, light up your life with death. Why does Hello Kitty drive me to kill? Is it the perky bow or her dead soulless eyes? You can find and download all those mods online because who doesn't like the image of a lovable Care Bear superimposed over an exploded corpse? Meow. Perhaps the author of this viewer mail. Quite possibly, yes. quite possibly. Today's viewer mail is from Peaches hmm. in Flint, Michigan. She writes, Reddit LucasArts fired all their video game employees. I love KOTOR and I can't wait for KOTOR 2. Does this mean there won't be a sequel? Peaches, calm down. Don't you probably out. are calm because her name is Peaches, Peaches which is a pretty calm name. Yeah. Anyway, yes, you're right. Lucasarts laid off its employees and they will no longer be making games internally. That doesn't mean here, but just inside the company. Right, but that doesn't mean they aren't still letting other developers make licensed Lucasarts titles. So there will still be a Knights of the Old Republic 2 and the hotly anticipated Republic Commando, where you get to play as a stormtrooper. I don't really want to play. Why not? I want to be the princess. But there will what? probably be yet another Star Wars Jedi Outcast, Jedi Academy game when it has a title so long it's not going to fit on the box. What the internal layouts at LucasArts do mean is that we won't have to suffer through any more games like RTX Red Rock or Wrath Unleashed, Aww. which is about as much fun as hitting yourself in the groin with a hammer. Trust me, I've done that. Mm -hmm. It's not fun. If you'd like to find out more about Adam hitting himself in the groin with a hammer, and really, why wouldn't you? Visit our website. G4TechTV.com slash xplay. It's really a three-step process. Hammer here, hammer here, here. Aww. Anyway, don't so try don't, it at home. don't try it at Good home. Good night. Well, Princess. yeah. <laughs> We have a new online game everyone is talking about. Every weeknight, while you watch X Play and Unscrewed with Martin Sargent, go online and play Hyperactive along with the shows. You can win an iPod Mini and other cool stuff. Many of you will be playing for months to come. For rules and details, go to g4techtv.com slash hyperactive and play along every night with X Play at 11 and Unscrewed with Martin Sargent at 11.30.
Coming up next, Unscrewed, followed by Anime Unleashed at midnight. Coming up tonight, Yellow Bamboo has been called the most powerful martial art of them all by a Swede. And guess what? We're going to talk to that Swede tonight. Plus, X-Play with Adam Sessler and Morgan Wang.